how to download and install .NET SDK on your machine. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and install .NET on your Mac OS. And I'm going to show you how to install and deploy .NET on your Mac OS system. So, the first things you want to go to this website .net.microsoft.com and it is going to take you to this page. So, if you want to find out how to get here as well, you can also just go ahead and type .NET into Google. And then you will get to this first link here, which is the Microsoft.net. So, just click on this and when you are on this page, you can go ahead and press the download button here or you have the download button at the top here. So, it should automatically select your operating system. It knows that we are viewing this on Mac OS. And it is automatically selected the .NET SDK X64 Intel. So, if you want to download another version, click into all .NET versions. I'm going to download 8.0 which is the latest version of the time recording in this video. It is downloading, just wait for a few Now we have downloaded the x64 package so I'm going to go click finder so it is open our downloads folder and then we are going to find this .NET SDK 8.0 x64 pkg file. So, I'm going to double click and it is going to go through the install process here. We are going to press continue and then install and now it is going to ask for your password. So, just type in your system administrator password and then click install software. So, that's going to go ahead and install the .NET SDK. Congratulations, the installation was completed. And we have .NET SDK 8.0.3.2, .NET Runtime 8.0.6, and ASP.NET Core Runtime 8.0.6 as well. Now we can close this, we can go ahead and move to Trust, or you can keep this installer. I'm going to move to Trust, that's delete from our downloads folder. Now we get a spotlight on top here and then go to terminal and select the top entry here and here we can type in .NET space dash dash version and then we can see here that we have the version 8.0.302 installed and you are ready to go now. That's it for in this video. In the next video, we are going to create a new C-Sharp console application. I'll see you in the next video.